Hey everyone, so Senator John Fetterman has been one of the most strong allies of Israel and the situation that is going on over there, the war in the Middle East. And uh, he's been criticized by his own party because uh, compared to uh, some others in the Democratic Party, he is particularly strong and bold in his defense of Israel. So a reporter asks him to maybe reconsider and recant some of the things that he said regarding some of the recent operations that have gone on in Israel. And look at his reaction. Check out what he says. I just want to bring it back to your state, though, because you have gotten criticism from both Muslim groups and pro-peace Jewish groups. Last month, the Philadelphia and Pittsburgh chapters of the Council on American Islamic Relations, they issued a joint statement where they condemned you for saying that you loved Israel's pager attacks targeting Hezbollah in Lebanon. I do. <laughs> I absolutely. Well, you know, they said when our elected officials start condoning the civilian loss of life, our collective moral compass is irreparably harmed. That's a quote. And indeed, that attack did hurt and maim civilians. Uh, it, it didn't. It, it actually, it was targeted for members of Hezbollah. You know, no one uses beepers in, in that situation other than they were a member of Hezbollah. It was a and young that, that child was a, of that a, was a mar, That was a micro-targeting to minimize civilians. It was a young child who was killed, who was taking the pager it, it to did, their parents. unfortunately, parent. tragically, because daddy was a, was a member of Hezbollah. That's, this, that's tragic. You know, he brought that danger and evil into their home. And that's what's that's what tragically resulted in that poor child's death and that that that's and she, it's that's what's so terrible. She paid the price because her father was a terrorist for Hezbollah. And and I grieve for the the death of of Palestinian children and, and other innocents there. I don't assign any more value to their lives, I mean versus my own children's lives. And and that's why we have to destroy Hamas and we have to find a develop a new way forward where people can live in peace. So that these this kinds of 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 death and misery, it has to stop. But it's not being driven by Israel. It's driven by Hamas and Iran and and that kinds of commitment to destroy the state of, of, of Israel. And now you have idiots in this nation, you know, talking about and chanting about from the river to the sea. And they try to pretend that doesn't exactly what that means. And that is Israel is in the middle of the sea and that river. And that has to be wiped. Uh, wiped for free. And that's uh, at least own your anti-Semitism uh, rather than trying to hide behind a, a turn on, on words. Yeah, those who are critical of Operation Grim Beeper, as it's sometimes called, where Hezbollah members were specifically targeted, that they would explode uh, at, at a given time in order to minimize as much as humanly possible any sort of civilian casualties. This is the exact opposite of terrorism. You know, terrorism goes after specifically tries to harm innocents. This was the exact opposite, trying to target in the most specific way that only members of Hezbollah had those particular beepers that were detonated. And so the rubric can't be that no civilian ever will die in the course of war. Yes, that's sad. Yes, that is that is very sad. But as John Fetterman correctly pointed out, the civilian that died, the child that died, was the child of someone in Hezbollah. They brought that upon their home. The rubric can never be that any civilian death means that the war has to be uh, stopped. I want this war to be finished just as much as anybody else, but you don't put out half a fire. You need to make sure that the, the enemy is dealt with, that Hamas is dethroned, that Hezbollah is, is deactivated, and that the powers that be can no longer fight you. If you put out only half the fire, it's only a matter of time, probably not that much time either, until the fire begins to grow again and spread. We need to make, we need to crush the fire, crush the war, and be done with it. Let everybody in that region live in peace.